Every other night I altercation, but we fight in the first day. Catch you in the lifetime. You said it is nothing. I done tried a thousand times, but it just ain't working. I'm alone in this cold, cold world. My heart is frozen. Why should I broken? All on my own, with no one to cope with. All on my own, with no one to joke with. All on my own, with no one to smoke with. You were the one that I was You were the one that I was in love with That was goodbye, no more way you going, yeah It's me, I don't feel the same Cause something tells me, never fails me You will never change All the bad energy, let it go Yes, sir so much can let you take my soul all of the seasons turned into pain. You give me reason to walk away. <laughs> she did her thing. Well, let me tell you something. You got me cheesing. Yeah. I'm so. I'm going to tell you this. I'm like. I'm proud. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you represent, you know, the black woman. The black female artists and all black women should be considered as queens no matter what you know what i'm saying and we hold ourselves we as us as men we definitely got to do our part with keeping y'all up and doing y'all thing right right what's good with your channel man welcome to trapping and rapping tuesday <laughs> three in the whole podcast thank you for having me for sure we appreciate you coming in man you're looking fabulous today I ain't gonna lie, man. Like I'm getting like the red hair rogue, the blue superwoman, all in one power. <laughs> she got power, and she just let them vocals go. Yeah, a little bit. Talk I to had me. To switch it up a little bit. Yeah. You know. Why you um, Why you feel like you had to switch it up? Cause it's a lot of female rappers. I mean, I rap too, and I know I rap good, but. I can sing too. Right. I don't see nothing wrong with putting that music out too. It's not wrong with putting out um good music. That's what I call it, good music. Thank you. You know, and I love the way you kept it flowing even when the beat went off. You let the people know who you are, and I'm glad I mic'd you up because I needed that. Yeah. You feel me? Uh-huh, I got you. So, in three trapping and rapping, y'all, man, this is this is I'm finna tell y'all some real G. Like, this is trapping. My dog got her satchel out here. She I ain't playing. Gotta keep it. Yeah. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it. Do it keep you calm? Yeah. yeah. You love it? Mm -hmm. When you're in the studio, do you, is that medicine for the soul to get them beautiful vocals out? Give me this and a little bottle of Cops Amigos and you got me. It's on. It's on. Talk to me. When you put down a track, when do you when when did you know that was the song? Cause I know you probably heard a lot of beats. When did you when when that song when that beat came across? What what made you say that's the one? Or what? Or was it handed to you and you and and, and they said do something with it and you put your magic on it? I'm gonna put it like this. Me and my brother. Did this song together. He okay. helped me. Shout out to Yacho. 048 Yacho. For sure. Um, we was sitting in the back room one day. And we was listening to beats. And he was like, sis, you don't want to go to the studio? I said, shit, we can go. I got a couple dollars on me. Right. I don't mind. He was like, all right. So we, he was like, we got to do some music first. I said, all right. Listen to beats. I think we did about two or three songs. Right. And that was the one that stuck out to my whole family. This beat right, this song right here. This song right here. I'm talking about it. It's called Bad Energy. Mm -hmm. The opposite of good energy. Bad energy turned into good energy. 
all day. For real. Because you have to go down before you can come up. That's what give you the motivation, man. I'm not laying down no more, man. I'm finna get up. Right. I don't I ain't f- down a few times. So. All of us have. Not just you. But this is about you. Right. And being that you were down at some point, what was what who who was able to bring you up from where you was at? Because I know we done had some low points. My kids. Right. Shout out to the little ones. My brothers. For real. They played a big part in that, honestly. Right. I ain't really have my family, so the ones that did take me in, showing me the rope. Right. And that's what it takes, you know, somebody to invest in us. People don't understand when you have kids, you have to invest in them kids. Them kids don't know which way they want to go. True. If your son want to play basketball, if he want to play football, if he want to play golf, tennis, soccer, whatever the case may be, you have to pay for that. Those kids don't have money. That's called investing. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We got to invest in. You've been doing a great job at that. With the children, because y'all don't really know. We had a little impromptu. We did a little, um, which I don't really do, but me, we, we did a little uh a little run through with China and she had a shouty in here and um the baby I miss her tonight I, 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 I know the night we more professional you know what I'm saying but I miss my baby because I had gave her some teddy grounds if we can get <laughs> if we can get a snippet of that man I'm gonna try to put it on I'm gonna try to put it on here for you. Excuse me. so yeah it was a vibe it was but tonight is is I think tonight is so magical strictly business for real. And that's what time it is. So, shows. Have you had any shows lately? I opened up for Coley P. Okay. How was that? About a few months ago. It was pretty lit. It was you, thick. It was wall to wall. You enjoyed yourself? I had a little too much fun. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nah, I had fun. So, it was fun. when you opened up for Coley P, what was the energy like? Um, my energy came from Bigger Ranking. Okay. <laughs> He got a lot of energy. Yeah, he got a lot of energy. He was like, um, I hope you're ready. I'm finna walk you through the stage, this crowd now. When I say come on, I mean come on. I was like, okay. Right. So then dude was like, all right now, big record though, play. I was on his heels walking <laughs> to the stage. So, so he was like, oh, you weren't playing tonight. He was like, you was ready. And I already know Coley right. and one of his producers. So it was already a vibe. I like how big a ranking is touchable. He's reachable. Yeah. And that's how you really want to be, you know, connect with your fans. Right. And just that experience right there, you know, I know that that catapult, it had to give you so much confidence after that. Hitting the stage, bigger rankings giving you, saluting you. You getting on the stage. Talk to me. How was the crowd? The crowd was crazy. She playing. I know they was the lit. The crowd was crazy. She playing. The they was lit. You was on Uwe. I was lit. It was lit. You was lit? Whole thing. You remember? Yeah. I had uh What song you did? I did Hoam the Gag. Okay. I did um Trap Shit. Okay. And I forgot the last one. I think I did two or three. It was a few people. How many people opened up for Coley P? It was just you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I missed that show yet. They ain't tell me about that. I think I just, I came on late. Look at him. He trying to ignore me, man. The boss in the building. <laughs> Look at the boss. He ain't tell. He <laughs> But, um, you know, locking into, you know, any type of media, tapping into any type of media is always good because we got to sell ourselves. This is the way we make money. You know what I'm saying? So, tell the world like what? How 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 do you want the world to perceive you as an artist? Like, are you a more of a road rage, more of a Queen Latifah, more of a MC Light or Cardi B, I don't Trina? Think I'm like nobody, honestly. You what? I don't think I'm like nobody. You ain't got no similarities. You ain't take no piece from him. 
So you just came out and just said, I'm this me. I've been rapping since I was twelve. So like when I was rapping we wasn't we didn't have instrumentals and beats and other songs to go listen to to try to make it like it, stuff like that. So I always like listen to beats and try to come up with my own sound, my own way. Right. Honestly. I like that. I like that authentic. Being authentic, that's you. No bloodline. You the only bloodline for this. I can't lie. I'm not the only bloodline for for podcasts. I ain't going to lie. I study. I ain't going to lie. I watch. I look at other podcasts. (coughs) I follow other podcasts. I I communicate with them. And, you know, that's all a part of networking, too. And I know in the rap game right now, I know you definitely networking. I know you got some heat that's coming out. I network heavy. I got music coming out. Around my birthday time. Okay. When is the birthday? My birthday is January twenty seventh. Get out of here. You in January? Yeah. I know I know it ain't you ain't Capricorn, but I'm the beginning of January. I'm January sixth though. Okay. Everybody locked that in January sixth. Okay. Who birthday was that? Okay, Auntie, I love you. Yeah. I love you, Auntie boy. I love everybody on January the sixth. January I ain't I don't mean to take it over, but I'm gonna take it over right now. Cause January sixth, boy, that's a day. Y'all know on January 6th, that's when they did the um the riot at the Capitol. Mm. People don't even re- don't even know I that, dog. Know that. On January 6th, that's when they hit the Capitol. You know what I'm saying? They let all them men go. Mm. We ain't gonna get on that because history crazy. It is. We're gonna keep it G. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I know you locking in, man. We're going to do the trapping and rapping after this. We're gonna do the green screen. For sure. You ready for it? You lit? I feel it. I tell everybody, man, when you get in there, man, you got to, that's a show. Because we going to get your whole drip tonight. I normally don't get everybody whole drip, but I'm finna get head to toe. I'm going to take a, <laughs> I'm going to take a, this is horizontal. And this is, this is vertical. Man, I had, I, man, I could, I could dunk a 10 foot goal, but I'm lying. <laughs> I used to hoop though. But uh, we're going to lock in with it, man. We're going to go, we're going to get you locked in over there. Let everybody know how they can reach you in the land. Yo, 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 it's your girl, Big Monroe 29, Big underscore Monroe 29. 448, Reefer Gang shit, no lane shit. You can find me anywhere, really. Facebook, China Monroe with two E's. On all of it? On mostly everything. Okay. You want to book me? You hit up 448 Mike Will or you hit up Reefer Gang music page. Okay. We locked in. <laughs>